lot of books about the Second World War, but this is my first about intelligence, about the struggle that all the nations involved wage from the first day to the last to uncover each other's secrets. I'm amazed how many surprises I've found in the course of researching this book, and maybe you will in reading them. Did you know, for instance, about the huge Russian deception operation before Stalingrad in 1942, when they deliberately gave information to the Germans, which cost 70,000 Russian lives? I'd never heard of the English SOE agent, who was turned by the German intelligence service and trained for a mission back into England. We've all heard a lot about the Cambridge Five, who gave British secrets to the Soviets. But what about the Berkeley 500, the amazing number of Americans in positions of influence and knowledge who gave a fantastic amount of information to the Russians about their technology and especially the atomic bomb? I never realized that the best Allied spy of the war was not trained by SOE or MI6, but was instead a Japanese general. The real question that matters is how much did intelligence change the war? And that's the big question I've tried to answer in this book.